Yeah, it's just a new filter that, you know, allows people to make their own version of bottled water at home without having to pay for it. I mean. We're doing taste tests between filtered water and bottled water. Okay. Okay. Do you drink filtered water or bottled water at home? Filtered. Filtered. Okay. So we have a new kind of filter that we're going to be using okay. in our store that uses not just the charcoal filters, but also lava rock. So we want to see if people can actually taste the difference between it. So this is your everyday bottled water. So that would be like spring water. Taste that. Okay. How would you describe that? Water. Tastes like water, right? But it doesn't have like a chlorine taste or anything. It's, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Usually when you buy spring water or bottled water, it has that. No metallic, no chlorine. Okay. Now this is just tap water that's gone through the filter. Taste that. And you could be totally honest because this wasn't a blind test. Which one do you like better? I, I do like the filter better. The taste the filter yeah. better? Yeah. A charcoal filter, which is ordinarily in a filter like this, will take out minerals and calcium deposits. Okay. But the lava rock can take away biochemical fragments. Gotcha. You know, and you can't really tell the difference when you look at no, them. No, not at all. But if you see it with a little bit of iodine, and you just put a drop in each of those and mix them up. Do you see that? Yeah, it looks darker. One looks a little bit darker, right? Yeah. Yeah, these, it does reveal these little impurities. Ew. That you could find in, in most bottled water. What is that? Uh, these are tactile probiotics. What? They're like amoebas, and you could swish your fingers right through them. You wouldn't feel them. There's also other chemicals that'll let those you. Those are always there? Those are always there in all water. Yeah. Oh, I'm completely disgusted right now. Really? Yeah. I mean, they just pass through. It's just like, it's yeah. That is freaky. But, so freaky. And iodine is safe to drink too, so if you want to taste that with them in it, just to. Wait, I can. No. Those just. I have some of those in me now. Yeah. Well, you ever feel like after you eat something and you feel like it's gurgling around and yeah. it's like, uh. That's, what these that's are. them swimming. It's so gross. Oh my god. Yeah, I was just wanting to raise awareness about it. So you have. You totally lost me because this is freaking me out. Well, you probably have about 5,000 of those oh, that's in so your gross. digestive tract right now. Yeah. I think I do purified water at home. What do you do? How does that compare to what I just drank out of? I would say it pulled about 70% of those, but it doesn't have lava rock. So lava rock will get all of them because it's almost magnetic the way they pull them from it. I feel like I want to touch them. Yeah. But I don't want to touch them. Would I be able to like feel it if I touched them? Wait, what's that? Can I like, can you, can you feel them? Um, no, oh. you... No, you can't feel them. You didn't feel them just then? No. Because I can see you touching them. Yeah. They just pass through. It's just like, you know how the air has little particles in it that we can't see? Okay. But if we dyed the air, you'd be able to see it. Can I put the, that filter in a filter? Sorry, yeah, I, I use one of these wait. in my shower. Okay. I don't, because I don't like to shower with these. Yeah, that's um, and I, the, I'll show you. I actually have a, a booklet that shows there's a filter for the shower, there's a filter for the tub, there's a filter for the pool, sprinklers, and just drinking water. Okay. So, yeah. Here, hold up for a second. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can yeah. find that uh, for you. I don't have that book. I, I had a I had a pamphlet of it, but we, th we sell them all over there. Okay. And basically, it's it's like filtering water, but it extracts everything out using the Carbonaro effect. Okay. From the water, have you heard of that before? No. Oh, you haven't heard of the Carbonaro effect? Well, probably not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's one of those things you think you heard of, but maybe. Yeah, I, the, I have no idea what, what it's going to you're gonna tell me. Oh, the Carbonaro yeah. effect? It's it's the name of a hidden camera magic TV show. Oh, okay. Right, where a magician like does something in front of someone to see if they would believe it was real. Yeah. I mean, is this not real? 
What if I told you you were on that show right now? Dude, that would be crazy. You are. No, I'm not. My name is Michael Carbonaro. I'm a magician. Oh. <laughs> you're on my TV show right now. See the camera light? See the little camera right up there? Yeah. The little camera light right up there? Okay, I yeah. feel so freaked out. That was gross, man. right? Oh my gosh, it was completely freaking me In a weird way, believable though. You're like, I guess. Maybe there's this thing. I was like, dude, the gurgling in my stomach? Yeah. Like, you're very scientific. Okay, the right gurgling stuff. I was taking pictures while you were oh, gone. You were? I was totally taking pictures. Oh, like, awesome. this is so freaky.